Good afternoon everybody, uh, my name is Jonathan Heath and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a Unity Asset Package and how to upload it into a new project. It's relatively quick, it, this is a uh, relatively easy to do so it won't take too long. Right now you're looking at a uh, game I created for one of my school projects we called Black Friday and I'm going to create a unity package of everything in this game just so I can and then put it into a blank project as an example so real quick let me go ahead and go and get started so you're gonna go over to import packages no not import export packages export so it takes a few moments to load up right here all these checkboxes represent what folders what items what what uh, assets you want to transfer over to your new project so once you have everything checked if you don't want something to go you simply click uncheck on the item or the folder itself once you've done all that you can click the all button if you want to transfer everything to make it easy then you click export you pick the folder in which it's gonna go to so for the purpose of this I'm gonna have it go to my emulators and ROM folder because I just know I can find it there <coughs> then you click save it's gonna gather up all the files to make an exported package depending on how big the items are, how big the memory is this could take a while I don't think it's going to take too long, yeah it didn't take too long with this one because it's a relatively small project so there is the unity package now I want to add that unity package into a game I'm already creating you can do the same thing, say you wanted to add it to a different game so I'm gonna go ahead and load up I'm gonna load up dog bark because it doesn't have that particular file of mine that only has one scene in it it has very little so I'm gonna load it over once again depending on how powerful your computer is my computer's pretty decent one of my computers. I have three computers. Alright, so Dog Bark is now open. Now I want to bring those same folders, same files that I brought over from Black Friday, I want to put in this game. So what I need to go to is Assets, Import Package. Click Custom Package. Then you find where you put it. I put it in my emulators in ROM, Black Friday Unity Package. Click Open. It's going to decompress all those files onto the Unity. Same window pops up with the Black Friday stuff. It tells you, this is all new. This is what we have. This is what's coming over. Do you want all of this or only some of it? Anything you don't want, you can do this. Anything you want, you do that. Make sure it's checked if you want it uncheck it if you don't want it in your new game press the import button and then you wait for it to come right over once again takes a little bit depending on how big the project is <laughs> pardon me depends on how long this could take this could take ten minutes five minutes multiple minutes you name it and Like I said, it can take a while. So, one second. If this takes too long, I'll let it out. But I doubt it will be. 
So real quick, the main reason I'm showing this off is uh, I'm part of a fan project to create a Sonic game. And uh, I'm a big Sonic fan. And uh, this is a training video for anybody in the industry to use. So far through my schooling, since I've been at Full Sail learning how to make games, this is something we've had to do on a consistent basis. So be ready to sometimes it takes to do that. That sometimes you have to do this kind of stuff. Boom. As you can see, and I'm horrible with small talk, as you can see. As you can see, everything we had, every I don't know why I do that. I wave my hand across the screen like you guys can see me. As you can see, everything you had in Black Friday is now here in my other random game called Dog Bark. So let me click on Black Friday and show you. Everything popped over. Prefabs are missing. That's okay. I've seen that happen before. That's an easy fix. That just means I have to go in and reset the uh, prefabs of the game. That's an easy fix. Sometimes that happens, as you can see. So I'll just have to go in, reset the prefabs. That's an easy fix. So, overall, folks, that is how you transfer over packages from Unity, make a Unity package to transfer over to another game. Not too bad, not too easy, not too hard. And that's it. I just wanted to make that quick video to show everybody how to do that. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a good day.